Welcome to today's tutorial about the topic of the machine arriving at the customer. We are here with the customer in Crefield who bought our machine and received it today. We will install and set up the machine in cooperation with Mr. Gerhards and do everything we can to ensure that the machine can still paint today. The machine was unloaded with a crane as you have just seen. It is not mandatory to unload them with the crane. You can also use a forklift. However, the requirements are the forklift should carry five tons and have two and a half meter long forks. Then it's no problem either. Then we'll show you how you can bring the machine into the basic position. We do this here with a pallet truck and a forklift which are positioned under the base frame. The machine is now positioned in its intended location. The outlet is in a so-called clean room, which is, of course, the best requirement for a good coating result. We connected the compressed air. We connected power. The exhaust fan is still in progress. Now we must align the booth. For this, we have Mr. Gerhards ready with his spirit level. We go around the machine with the spirit level, place the operating side on the belt, the inlet and outlet sides on the outermost roller, and see how the spirit level behaves. This side should be a little higher. To get the side a little higher, we simply drive a pallet truck underneath, under the corner element, which is to be turned higher, as far in as possible. Pump up the required 5 millimeters. That's good. Turn the foot against. Exactly. Fits exactly. And the machine is already leveled and aligned. Of course, we do the same all around, once all around the machine. If, after aligning the machine, you notice that the doors are slightly offset in height, it is because the machine is perhaps a little crooked, but it's not bad. The matter can be solved very easily. In the corner where the door is lower, you drive the pallet truck underneath, lift it up slightly, and keep an eye on it. As soon as the doors are flush again, adjust the foot and everything is good. The booth is still level, but you have a decent look on the front of the doors. To align the machine correctly, the swivel feet are also adjusted. We'll show you now. Since we have just aligned the booth, we are now taking care of the paper handling. We need this guide for the paper roll trolley. You can simply slide the guide directly onto the bracket provided on the floor. We have already supplied two screws for you. Simply unscrew it and secure the bracket with it. That's about it. As you can see, very easy. I think anyone can do it. Now we will show you how you can attach the motor console for the paper winding. The best thing to do is grab a pallet and two colleagues to help you. Then everything is a little easier. First, you drive the console in front of the mount and screw the console tight. Make sure that it is level and that the console does not warp. If you have now attached all the screws and the console is firmly in place, you can finally attach the cables for the paper winding drive. Since the connectors cannot be interchanged, almost anyone can do that. Now we come to the paper roll trolley. 
This is almost the same as in the inlet, only that it has a drive wheel that must go into the drive clutch. We'll demonstrate that to you now. If the wheel is properly engaged in the clutch, you will notice that the lever at the front engages correctly. If this does not work correctly, you simply use the adjusting screws below the console. You can adjust it a bit up or down so that the clutch adapts perfectly to the wheel and the cart simply slides in. We have now set up and connected the paint supply to the customer. If you want to know how it works, just have a look at our other videos. Here are some reasons why the paint supply is at this location. You should place the paint supply as close as possible to the booth to keep the hose lengths as short as possible and therefore keep the paint loss as low as possible. In addition, the paper trolley must occasionally be pulled out of here for refilling. That is why we need a certain amount of free space between the booth and the paint supply. We simply pull the air supply to the paint supply pump stand from the top of the 3 quarter inch supply line using a T-fitting, half inch connection hose on it and connect it to the pump stand. You don't need to do more, it will run. So now we will pull in the paper and then see the machine running for the first time. We have now aligned, set up, and connected the system here. Before you put it into operation, please pay attention to the safety instructions again. For this, we have already shot a video for you. Just look at it again. If you start now, it is important that all directions of rotation are correct. It may be that the electrician must swap the phases again so that it fits. Otherwise, you can look up everything again in the drawing here. We have, of course, already made the first painting attempts with thinner and work pieces. The results are very good. We will now make further adjustments with the correct paint and correct work pieces. If, against all odds, be problems with the system, be it with operation or any other questions, you can find our hotline number 0049-524-296-0331 on the nameplate, or you can also find it in the machine documentation. But now I would also like to have a statement from Mr. Gerhards on how he experienced today. After all, we spent the whole day together setting up, aligning, and adjusting the machine. What does Mr. Gerhards think of us? The machine was very easy to install and I'm just curious to see how things will go with this machine in the next few days or in the next few weeks. But I think we made the right purchase. I think so too. You will have a lot of fun with this system.